What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Chef Yarnizi, the Pip Master. Hey, I just want to throw out something on Lucid. Um, I am looking at uh, Lucid being, um, you know, buying Lucid. Once it drops down to about 2273, somewhere in there, 20, excuse me, 22, yeah, 2273, 77, maybe even down to the 1618 at 2248. But I saw this setup, so it's no time to get it now. And it actually may come all the way back down to 1896. So I'll wait patiently and look at it around this time frame. Uh, looking at it on a day chart, day chart is telling me it can get down to about 2108. So um, I'll wait for Lucid, guys. Uh, I wouldn't buy it until it gets to a rock bottom. And then once it hits that bottom stage, state then i would look to buy lucid and run it all the way back up from roughly what 21 dollars to about 28 on better and it looks like it keeps hitting a brick wall somewhere up in this area so uh this is i will set this at my level of resistance for now uh right about here looks good let me see maybe yeah right about here looks good for a level of, a level of resistance at 28.47 US 30, my best friend. Uh, US 30 is going to come down here through my EMAs just like clockwork. So I won't get out of US 30 until it hits my level of support here at 34.45. And from there, we will see what happens. So um, that's off the 15 minute chart, by the way, of the one hour. Um, things are still looking like they want to run up, but basically 34.673 on the one hour chart is equivalent to our 34,639, roughly here on our 15 minute chart. So where you see this EMA here, you'll see this EMA, which is about equivalent to that EMA. And even on the four hour chart, it's equivalent to this EMA, 34, same area, 34, uh, 650, 640. So it's in that same region. So that's where I'll look to get out of US 30 before it takes a bounce to pop and go back up for a buy possibly, or what it could do is go ahead and say, you know what, I wanna complete this whole move. So I'm gonna do this, bam. And it could possibly come down to 34, 30, uh, uh, 34, 33, 9, or so. Uh, let's move my chart up so we can see. Yeah, so it can do that, or it can even say, you know what? <laughs> I want to go ahead and hit that last level of the fib down here at 33, I think it's 844. Uh, if it really feels froggy, it'll come down here in between my zone, which is between 33,771 and 33,608. That would be real nice. I love that move. And then after it hits that level, it can take a bounce and run back up. Or what it'll force the EMAs to do is do a reversal here and come down. This one to go this way, this one to go this way. So then you have price action doing this to make all of this true. So that's my analysis on US 30 and Lucid. That's the one I gave this week. Uh, Lucid Technologies or Lucid Group, rather. Um, Lucid Group is looking like it's that same setup to me. I mean, uh, Control Z, Lucid has a wrong setup. So in order for it to align, Lucid needs to push down, over and down, which means price action has to follow, right? So let's see what happens uh, sometime next week. Let's look for this move to happen. Uh, you heard it first here with your boy Chef, you're an easy to pit master. And that's my time, guys, I'm out.